What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So I'm going to show you how I save money by using pirate ship instead of eBay to print my label and the proper method and use of box in a bag. So pirate ship is a great alternative to shipping and saving money compared to just printing your labels through eBay. Now they have a thing called box in a bag where you get a cubic rate and you can save money. Now people don't know the rules. The biggest rule is you have to measure your bag before you put anything in it. And for certain things, especially like in the two pound range, if you have an eBay 8x6x4 box, that's about a great size and I keep these 12 by 15 vinyl bags. So these two go together perfectly. That box fits in this bag. I use the 12 by 15 measurement for the bag. You cannot be over 18 inches in your dimensions to where you're going to realize the savings. So let me show you what I have to ship and how to use it, how to pack it, and what kind of savings I'm going to get from this one item. This one is just like a, a close grip row slash lap pull down handle. So it's like in the shape of a triangle. I wrapped it in bubble wrap and we put it on the scale. It weighs one pound, 14.3. So one pound, 15. So once we try to package it or box it, it's gonna push it over two pound rate. So I have options. I could go with the regional rate A, which ships at a two pound rate. So with the box, with that, a little extra padding, it's gonna be over two pounds. So I would save a little bit of money there. Or I'm thinking of just putting it into one of these eBay bubble mailers. This is just like steel, can't be broken. As long as it's a little padded, it'll be good to go. So I'm gonna, before I decide, I'm gonna enter the dimensions and weights on eBay and see which will be the best price. All right, so if I were to go just say a plain brown box, two pounds, three ounce, 10 by 8 by 6, just regular USP priority, comes out 15.27. I use the bubble mailer, which comes out to 1 pound, 15.4 ounces. So I round it up to an even 2. And it's a 9 by 9 by 6 in the bag. Regular priority, 10.85. Now my other option, now that I know the USPS, Regular rates would be, you know, for priority. I, this will just about fit into an 8x6x4 plain box. It's a little bulgy, but that's okay because I would put it into a bag. And I'm going to put it into a bag, which is 12 by 15 And I'm going to check pirate ship for box in a bag. And, of course, when you do that, you don't measure, you know, you don't tape the bag around the box like you're wrapping a present and measure it. You got to put your dimensions of your bag before anything in it. Two dimensional, 12 by 15. Okay, so now let's look on Pirate Ship. You go to the drop down, you can choose box if you're just going to do regular box. We want to do box in a bag, which is the second choice. And then you have your two dimensions. Remember, you have to measure it flat. So we're going 15 by 12. It even says above, right there, measure and use the length and width of the envelope before putting anything in it. So it tells you the rule right there. So let's put in 15 by 12. That's the measurement of our polyvinyl with nothing in it. And then the weight of the bag and the box and everything together is 2 pounds, 3 ounces. And then we just hit get rates on the bottom, and let's see what it comes up as. 9.56. So that kind of size and dimension box in a bag is right in that range where you want to be to save money. All right, so I'm going to do it off pirate ship, put it into the 8x6x4 box, and then put that into the bag, and I'm saving money. All right, that's all there's to it. Very simple. If you never use pirate ship, just go in, sign up, you put in your credit card, and it's very simple. You enter your dimensions like you would with eBay, and it gives you your label, and you can often find savings. Box and bag. It's the way to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.